Hey guys, Infinity here, and welcome to another episode of Loot Guides. This series focuses on showing how to get gear from spawn points across the map and progress to even better gear. This episode will focus on a route from Berezino all the way to TC, visiting hotspots such as the Northwest Airfield along the way. So let's get into things. Alright, so first things first, before we start, you need to get a map. It's as simple as that. Uh, the I Survive map works great. It shows you where all loot spawns and where the buildings are. I love this map as a tool. The second thing you'll need to understand is DayZ's loot tier system. Uh, there's four tiers to the map. So you have tier one, which is the green, which is exclusively to coastal spawn points. And you have tier two, which is like semi inland. And then you have the tier three areas and the tier four areas, which are very far in the Northwest. Okay, so now that you've got your map up, let's begin the guide. So upon spawning in at Berezino, we want to aim for the south coastal side of the town. Uh, the northern side does have a bit of stuff there, but I don't find too much loot usually there. Um, once you do get this spawn, what you want to try and aim to do is get to this southern complex of um, residential houses. Uh, I'd usually find you find a lot of good gear here, not many people check it out, and it has high respawn rates. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to loot up this entire area and I'm just going to show you how quick that is So we're going to go in and around so there's a couple houses here as you can see I've already got a hoodie so that's good for insulation uh, You know we've got a crowbar already uh, sorry a wrench already That means I can make a stone knife found some food try and ignore the zombies You don't really need to do that. You know you can pick up a chicken like I've just done there on the way for food find some more food on the zombies you know it's it's a great place to get some gear after this though what we're going to do is progress into uh, the the west side of Verazino. so following this we're going to make our way to the well just to the east this is going to be our primary source of water for the trip following this we're going to loot the houses to the south of the main road and make our way up to the police station hospital and military tent where we're going to get our final tier one gear before we set inland Alright, so make sure you get a very good drink here until your stomach is full as we need to build that immune system as there's going to be a lot of running. Don't hesitate when you are looting all these houses, take your time and make sure you get every single one. Uh, it's really important to get some food as well into you, try and find the jar of honey or something like that, or kill and cook a chicken. Uh, once we do this, make your way up the hill, don't spend too much time looting these houses up on the way as they don't provide too much. Once we get to the top of the hill, we're at the eastern side of Berry. Uh, there is a lot of loot opportunities here. Uh, you can loot these first couple houses, but I do highly recommend going straight into the police station as that's where you're going to find your first decent weapons. Uh, you know, I'm taking my time here. I'm not in a rush. I've got a bit of good gear already. I've had a pretty good start this run, I must be honest, um, but I'm not wasting too much time. Can of Pepsi, can of food, off we go. So once we do that, what we are going to do is make our way into the police station over here. Upon approaching the police station, take your time and search it thoroughly. As you can see, I've already found a Glock, and that is a massive find for such an early game start. I take my time, I loot all the clothing, I make sure I get the best gear, I get magazines, I find the plastic water bottle. This place has a lot to offer. Next up, what we are going to do is head over to the hospital. Take your time here and make sure you kill the zombies correctly and you don't get any bleeds. It's really crucial that you loot this building thoroughly as there's not many medical places on the rest of the route and you need to make sure you get enough bandages so that you can mitigate bleeds and not get a wound infection. Once we do this, take your time and brush over to the military tent. Sometimes you can get lucky, in this case I'm not so lucky, just a bit of ammo and a utility butt pack, but nonetheless, that's all right. Once we do that, quickly head over to the well just next to the tent, grab your last bit of water and get that immune system up as we're going to make our big run to the west. Alright, after we get hydrated, we are going to make our way to the military camp between Gorka and Berezino. Uh, there's two military tents here and there's a fair few zombies. We're going to take them out and we're going to hopefully get some better military gear. Once we have looted that area, we're going to make our way into Gorka to check the police station and the medical building and get some more water at the well. So once you get to the military area between Gork and Berezino, my best strategy is always to get up on the sandstone blocks and take out the zombies just by punching them. It's a quick and easy method that ensures your safety and mitigates bleeds. Alright, once you've done that, make sure you loot all the tents and the Humvee here. I found some hunter boots here, so that's a nice upgrade. Then we're going to make our way into Gorka. 
To get to Gorka the quickest, the easiest way is to follow the road out of the uh, military base and then just keep running straight when the bend goes. You'll then come across this tree line with a hunting stand that you should definitely check and then you'll see Gorka to your left. I don't really loot the first buildings in Gorka, there's not too much there. Definitely check the police station from a distance to make sure no one's there or if you are going to see someone make sure you take them out. Upon approaching the police station, you'll notice there are a lot of zombies here. That's normal, don't be too worried. Just take them out smartly to avoid any unwanted attention. Once you enter the police station, give it a very good and deep loot. There's lots of loot here that you can miss. Once you head upstairs, you'll probably find some better gear such as a Glock mag. This is a pivotal moment in this run as it means we now have a pistol with a magazine. It's a big advantage to have. Continue looting the police station until you're ready to make your way over to the well and the medical building. Head to the well and grab some water as the next stop will only be at Crescino and you'll definitely need some to keep that immune system up. Also make sure to check the medical building for medical supplies, for tetracycline pills and more bandages as I'm sure you've sustained at least one or two bleeds from a zombie hit and you're definitely running a bit low. After looting the medical building, make sure you leave and get out of there as soon as possible. There's no time to waste, you need to keep moving fast. Alright, so upon leaving Gorka, our next stop is going to be Radio Zenit. There is a Humvee and a police barracks here. I don't really know what you call the building. Nonetheless, though, we're going to go check them out. Uh, following that, we're going to head to Crescino, check the PD there, and stop at the well again before making our way to the Northwest Airfield. Up at Radio Zenit, simply check the Humvee. There's not really too much loot here, but it's definitely a good place to stop on the way. There's also no zombies here. Then check the military guard point place. Uh, sometimes you can find some good military clothing here. And then we're going to set foot off onto Grishino. Once approaching Grishino, definitely approach from the back of the PD. I think this is the easiest way to go about it. There's also lots of zombies, so just be careful. Uh, once you do get into the, BT, uh, the PD, take time and loot it thoroughly. As you can see here, I find an SSG-82 straight away. That is our first proper sniper. And the reason you're going to find these is now is because it's a tier 3 zone. So this means that you're going to find loot that you haven't found anywhere on the run before. After dealing with the PD and taking a sticky beak around town, make sure to go to the well and get some water and stay hydrated. We're now going to push up into the Northwest Airfield. Alright, so leaving Grishino, we're going to go to the Northwest Airfield. Now, it is important to move swiftly and not get detected. This place is a complete hot spot. I recommend following this route here. I'm going to talk through it as we watch back the video playback on how I move. Um, it's really important not to try and get tempted to go into super risky places either. So let's get to it. So moving in first things first, we're going to go check the southeast barracks. Now there's a couple of containers here and tents. Um, check this little outpost as well. As you can see here, we get some good assault vests, which we've been holding that utility pup pack on for quite some time. After that, we are then going to go and check the next tent. And then as you can see just there, I found an AKS-74U. So that's our first assault rifle in the bag. Uh, then we're going to head up to these barracks here. There'll always be a couple of zombies floating around. So don't, uh, you know, just take care of them. Don't be worried about them. Uh, to keep moving though, that's the most important thing. I'm waiting for these zombies to come in so I can get them out. Next up is the hangers. No one really checks the hangers and I find they give some really good loot. Definitely a great way to get some like military clothing. Um, then we're going to go check the little officer's pent building here. There's always some good stuff. Uh, following that up to the next hangar, um, there's always some more good stuff here. There might be one or two zombies floating around on the next hangars for whatever reason. Uh, quickly grab that and check what you need. As you can see, we found a uh, Gorka helmet, so bang, put that on, and now we've got a tier 4 helmet as well. Run through the woods up to the industrial area. You can check the medical buildings on the left there if you want, as I did in my map. I'm just not doing it because I don't need to. Um, definitely take the time though and loot the entire industrial area. Not many people come here and it's a great way to get some stuff these are Livonian warehouses uh, because they're only on Livonia until they were added here are a really really good hotspot to get some good loot um, I think we end up finding an M16 pretty soon there you go um, so yeah, yeah that's it you know we got an SSG 82 we got an M16 and an AKS 74U and that's just from running like 25% if that of the airfield take care of the zombies obviously and then get into this last barrack here take a quick gaze for some stuff found the tactical backpack not bad and then make a dash row out of the woods 
So let's slow things down now that we are actually out of there. So we've got an AKS-74U, an M16, and an SSG-82. We've got a Gorka helmet as well and some good military clothing. I found some suppressors and a plate carrier. Uh, pouches as well. So that's just at the Northwest Airfield already. If you want to stop looting and start fighting other players here, go for it. Otherwise, we're going to continue further up north. Alright, so following our loot explosion at the Northwest Airfield, we're going to make our way up to the north. Uh, there's a town called Zabrodnode, I think that's how you pronounce it, uh, up there. There's a well there and a couple of civilian barracks, so we're going to stop there. Alright, once you get here, you'll notice there are a couple of zombies. They do like to hang around the front of the barracks. I recommend using a suppressed pistol to take them out as they're just annoying and a pain. Uh, definitely make your way into the civilian barracks and check them for what they have. There's definitely some good loot here as it is a tier 3 zone. Uh, don't forget as well, once you finish looting the civilian barracks, to stop at the well just in the uh, just next to the piano house here. Uh, it's going to be our last water source for the entire run, unless you have water purification tablets. Uh, following this, we're going to make our way further north up to TC finally. Right after finishing up at the well, we're going to head up to Pavita Summer Camp. There is two civilian barracks here and a couple hunting cabins as well. These are going to provide us with our last chance to either grab a hunting scope or some military gear before entering TC. Uh, TC, I'm going to give a full explanation once we're there. We're going to be quick, we're going to get in and out. Alright, uh, upon arrival at Pavita, check the hunting cabins to the south first because we're going to be exiting to the north side. It's really important that you don't miss a beat here. I've just found three weapon cleaning kits for example, which uh, you know is a great find. Um, definitely check all of these buildings here and make your way to the medical building. Be careful as there's always a couple of zombies floating around the medical building. Um, it's our last chance also to pick up some medical gear before TC. Lastly, make your way over to the, uh, the military barracks and grab the stuff that's in there. As you can see, I think I found the buttstock for my AK. Alright, it's Tissy time. So, we're going to start on the north side of Tissy. The reason I like starting on the north side of Tissy is that you're not in the tent and you're not going to be exposed too much. Coming in from the north as well gives you a way better vantage point looking over the barracks and it's going to give you more opportunity to spot people. Everyone at Tissy has a lot to lose and so you've got to be quite vigilant here. Um, start at the officer's tent, don't worry about the massive building just next to it, there's like two or three loot spawns maximum there and I just think it's silly. Um, definitely scope out the containers and the barracks up on the north side from this point where I am now and uh, we'll start getting into the looting. Alright, so firstly make your way into these containers and check them. The next thing I like to do is check the containers in the middle of the north barracks and then go around from the east to the west. Uh, definitely check all the barracks here. I just found the VSS. I think you'll find a lot nowadays. Um, check this little military outpost here and then do not worry about the rest of the buildings in that northern compound. That is where you are going to get spotted and you are going to get absolutely killed. Uh, what we'll do now is make our way down to the tents. Um, um, it's a little bit of a run. There's a couple barracks on the way that you can stop at. There's someone's obviously been here because it was like a AS valve on the ground. Um, but yeah, make sure you make sure you don't spend too much time in that northern complex. You want to get in and out. Upon approaching the tents, just take your time and be cautious. Always look for a bit of zombie activity. I'm uh, I'm going around on the uh, the western side just to make sure there's no one here. And I'm taking out a couple zombies. There is a head torch zombie there. Do not be alarmed. It's not a player. <laughs> We'll get those up here as they can spawn in the tier 3 and 4 zones. Um, following that, you know, make your way through the tents and start checking everything. I don't really spend too much time here because the only thing that I was personally looking for was actually a plate carrier zombie, but unfortunately I just wasn't lucky enough to get one, which was kind of a shame, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, once you are finished looting all these areas, just go and double check everything. Um, especially now that you've cleared out the zombies. Now we're going to make our getaway here and we're going to have a look at what we've got. Alright, so let's take a look at what we've got. So, first it says we've got a fully suppressed M16 and a fully suppressed SSG-82. In addition to that, we have pouches ready for a plate carrier, we have lots of food, lots of ammo, a suppressed pistol, and a tier 4 military helmet with tier 4 military boots, weapon cleaning kits, and the whole shebang. Uh, considering this, I'd say you're pretty much fully geared and ready to go into whatever scenario you want to. The only thing you possibly could also need would be a plate carrier. There you have it, so that is my Berezino the Tissy Loot Guide, I hope you did enjoy the video and you learnt something new, definitely take care out there when doing these runs, There's <laughs> you got to be vigilant otherwise you're just going to get shot, 
Um, I won't be doing a Weapon Wednesday this week as I am going on holidays with my girlfriend to Queensland, but you can be rest assured there'll be a video week after that. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.